Hey there everybody, I'm Jason Tudor and this is the Garrison Week in Review for Friday, June 3rd, 2022, jam-packed June. So much going on, so much to talk to you about, a big show today, let's kick it off with the good stuff. MWR Bazaar, happening today, started at 10 a.m. this morning, runs all the way to Sunday. These bazaars are fantastic and MWR has really gone out of their way to make this a special one. I'll tell you what, so much stuff from all over Europe, from food to uh, alcohol to furniture to antiques, just everything under the sun. If you've never taken in one of these bazaars, this is a fantastic time to do it. Uh, so head on over to the Claybird Fitness Center one of these days and check it out. It's open to US ID card holders only, but they're gonna take cash, euros, credit, and debit cards. So don't miss your opportunity. This is gonna be a great bazaar, so you don't wanna miss it. So another great program that the Garrison has started is working with German apprentices. So these are young people who are thinking about careers alongside US Army members here working as local nationals. And uh, on Thursday, we had our first two apprentices sign their contracts. Here you see them right here. The first one is uh, Kim Johan from Namborn, and she's been selected to work for the Office of Management uh, as an apprentice in Bomb Holder. And the other one seen here is Nico Nagel from Ramstein, and he's been selected for Office Management Apprentice in Kaiserslaughter. So Deputy Commander Michael Amorosa had a few kind words for them. It's important for us to grow our next set of leaders, right? And it's important for us to um, to get to go after folks that are committed and want to grow, want to learn, um, and you know, as we're always, as any organization does, we're always trying and looking for, hey, what what can we do to improve our overall organization? So two more slots will be filled in Kaiserslautern for office management, and both uh, of these kids are 18 years old, so I guess they're adults now, not kids, and they'll finish out the school year, but their official start date is November 1st. So to Nico and Kim, welcome. This apprentice program is fantastic. Nobody does it better than U.S. Army Garrison Rhineland Falls. You're gonna find that out, and we appreciate you joining us. Danke, and we look forward to you being here. Listen, check out this video from Romania. This is video from a soccer match organized by the Garrison, the Royal Air Force Regiment at Mikhail Gogonichano Air Base. The NATO forces put together a super team to play against a group from a local soccer academy run by Romania's greatest soccer player, Gheorghe Hagi. Hagi uh, played for Barcelona and a few other very professional teams, had a fantastic career, and he is considered Romania's best soccer player ever. And while the match ended 1-1, we know the experience for both sides on the pitch. Uh, the participants and everyone else meant more than the friendly match itself. So kudos to everybody who for a great match. Listen, boss service members uh, this weekend are traveling to Normandy for the 78th anniversary of D-Day, which was of course June 6, 1944. Uh, we've asked one of the soldiers to provide us with a video log of that experience, so we hope to be able to show you that video on the next show and give you some reflections on how they went to Normandy, what they felt, and doing all those kinds of things. Uh, Garrison and Children's Day across the country. That was June 1st. And here's some more video from Romania. Uh, soldiers at Army Support Activity Black Sea are often invited to schools near MK Air Base to visit with students. Uh, and this was one of those times. And during a recent visit, the students wanted to know what soldiers liked about their home country, their favorite food, and what it's like serving in the military. And some students even received an instant taste of Army life by trying on military gear and doing what? Pushing the ground, that's right, push-ups. And they were out trying to out push one another, and it was a great time. So uh, Children's Day in Romania, great our Army folks were out there representing the garrison and doing great things. All right, our final item, of course, is our service culture spotlight, and that is fellow Californian Marianne Sarau, who is originally from Santa Maria, California. Marianne works in our human, as a human resources assistant for our per, uh, military personnel division. She was responsible for processing applications for all types of passports and applicants associated for U.S. forces in Germany. Marianne also processed consular reports of birth abroad, hugely important uh, applications, and prepares status of forces agreement cards. What she loves about her job, she says, I love what I do, and I'm very passionate about extending assistance to the KMC community regarding requirements toward passports, visa processing, and several other things. So thank you, Mary Ann, for what you do. You do an outstanding job for the garrison. You're representative of our MCOM service culture, and we appreciate you very much. That'll do it for this week's uh, Garrison Week in Review. Don't forget to join us every Friday around this time for the Garrison Week in Review. Don't forget you can catch up with us right here on Facebook and our other social media channels. Our public website is always available for information and you can catch up with us here on the Garrison anytime in the Public Affairs Office. Thanks for joining us. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.